Welcome to our next video. We're talking about measures of central tendency. We're talking about the harmonic mean in comparison to other means. Harmonic mean with this formula. So we have this example. We have 300 euros that we can spend per month. With this, if the price per share in the first month is 9 euros, we can possibly buy 33.3 shares, different shares in the first month. In the second month, if the share costs us 11 euros per share, it's 27.27 27 shares that we can possibly buy in the second month and 75 shares in the third month. Which means that we have an average value, an average price per share of 6.64 euros per share. We could also have calculated this value using the harmonic mean this way. So 6.64 is the right and correct answer to the, to the question, what is the average price per share? If we do it differently, if we did it with the arithmetic mean, the arithmetic mean of just the prices, unweighted, unweighted, 9 plus 11 plus 4 divided by the sample size, divided by 3, gives us 8 euros per share, which is totally false, <coughs> which is totally false. The arithmetic mean would not give us the right answer to this question of the price per share, because there are different numbers of shares bought in every month. The arithmetic mean is not correct, nor is the geometric mean. The geometric mean, which means the third root of the values 9, 11 and 4, 9, 11 and 4, put into this root, gives us 7.34, 7 euros and 34 cents, euro cents, which also is not a correct answer. So the geometric mean and the unweighted, the unweighted average mean, um, arithmetic mean, excuse me, the unweighted arithmetic mean is not a correct answer, nor is the geometric mean. But there is one way using the arithmetic mean and nevertheless doing it the right way, which is if we did it with a weighted arithmetic mean. The weighted arithmetic mean, which means here we put the weights multiplied by the values themselves, gives us the right and correct answer. Look here. If we buy 33 shares in the first month, 27 shares in the second, 75 shares in the third, we have all in all bought 135.6 shares in all those three months, which means that is the weight of the first price of nine years. This is the weight of the second, and that's the weight of the third price for euros per share, which means if we did it this way with weights, the weighted arithmetic mean, we would get the right and correct answer. Isn't that great? Isn't it just great? 6.6464 euro cents, which is a true answer. So this gives us, all in all, a comparison, a very important comparison between the arithmetic, the geometric, and the harmonic mean. The harmonic mean could also be duplicated using the weighted arithmetic mean. And important to know, the harmonic mean of 6.64 is inferior, strictly inferior or equal to the geometric mean with 7.34 and inferior or equal to the arithmetic mean, the unweighted arithmetic mean of 8 euros. So provided the values are different, provided that not every value is the same, we have the sign strictly inferior. If they are all the same, it is equal. Like if we all, if we only had nine euros, nine euros, nine euros, it will all be nine. It would all be nine euros here and here and here. So if they all equal, if the prices were all equal, we'd have the equal to sign. If they are unequal, we have the strictly inferior sign. So strictly inferior or equal gives us that sign and this one. So keep that in mind. This is the relationship between the harmonic mean 
the geometric mean and the arithmetic mean. And this is very important. Thanks for watching. Thank you for listening.